you have someone in your guard is patience and control. For this instance, I want inside control on Gino. If I have inside control on Gino, you know, I can control him. And there's very little he can do to me, really, right? And this obviously reflects if we get into a, a real fight and, you know, Gino's trying to punch me or I get tired, I get knocked down, controlling, okay? So in this essence, uh, Gino wants to move his <coughs> arms around, right? He wants to touch my face, maybe, right? So he starts to come around, maybe I try to touch my face, but I got one and I get one on the opposite side, right? Got these overhook grips here, right here on the, over his tricep, okay? This can be very frustrating for him. From this position, he might decide, like, man, Maybe kind of getting to my feet would be the best thing, right? But since I had this grip on his arms, as Gino starts to come up, boom, I feel he's coming up. I'm going to let go of my guard as Gino starts to pull away and bring my knees in. But if you notice, I still have control of his triceps here, okay? And my, my feet just came in. And with Gino you know, push-up, please, kind of creating this brace or shield here. My knees are together. Back down, please. Here. From here, controlling up underneath my partner, I'm going to look over one shoulder. This time I'm look to the left and bring him on top of me. As I bring him on top of me, I'm simply gonna do a backwards roll, right? No explosive, no extension, no, and no anything. Just really pull, backwards roll, and now I'm on top. It's that simple, okay? Okay, so after my inside control, whether the guy went to punch, right? Maybe jump with the punch, and I pulled in the control here, or went into this position here, right? You just wanna be here. Kicking the guy, healing up, whatever we're gonna do from here, right? Controlling him. Gino starts to come up. I want my arms inside of Gino's arms, right? So not just grabbing his tricep. I need to be inside here, okay? Maybe as uh, Gino starts to extend himself, I go in, but now I lose the grip. We start straightening his arm out. Look, I go all the way. Either A, I grab his sleeves here, or B, I even get a better grip and I grab the spider guard grip, okay? Whichever is more, you know, applicable at this point, okay? Keeping the knees pinched here, right? So I still kind of control and I pinch here, right? Sometimes, right, to make uh, this technique working better, I take the, my legs off, one, two, put them in his hips, okay? So I was here, I can sweep from here, okay? Going backwards normally, and we go here, all right? From here, this is important. As we did the drill before, we're kind of balancing the guy. We know our hips are too far forward of his hips. When we go to lift, he's gonna end up going backwards, right? You got something, you got to kind of crash that position. So I need to get my hips under his hips, okay? So Gino's being strong, he's pulling himself up. I slide my hips under his hips. So I move from being here to here, to being underneath him, okay? And now when I lift, I lift with control, okay? Obviously we're not hanging out here, I'm just kind of proving the point. From here, with his arms, I'm gonna kind of do, uh, like make the letter C. Okay? So I don't want his arms out to catch himself. I'm going to make the letter C. As I do this, I look over my shoulder. The guy that's getting uh, swept here in the balloon sweep needs to make sure he turns his head away. Okay, So if we're rolling to the left, turn your head away. All right? So from here, I sweep, look over my shoulder, boom. Extend, keep the arms all the way through. All right? All right, guys. So... Building on it, right? So boom, I'm controlling Gino, right? Being annoying and resting and controlling him. He starts to come up, right? I'm like, oh man. So I get inside, start controlling his arms here. He extends. I go here, man, I get my spider grips, right? I uh, open my legs. One foot, two feet in the hips, right? But this time, Gino maybe steps back with one leg. Okay, he steps far back with one leg, which makes the sweep difficult because I have one leg on the hip like I want, but since his hips are bladed, I don't have the second hip like I normally want to. So what I'm going to do here, okay, the near side leg or the leg that's close to me, I'm going to wrap that up with my leg. So I'm going to take my leg outside and bring it around and put the top part of my foot, okay, on the inside of his thigh here, all right? So I was here, Gino's pulling away, I go here to slow him down, make myself sticky here, okay? Not from there, obviously a couple things can happen, but in this particular instance, Gino takes a step forward, now the other leg to face me, not to get closer here. I'm gonna take my free leg and put the ball of my foot right on the knot of his belt, okay? From here, I'm gonna look over, this is De La Hiva, right? Over the De La Hiva side and finish the technique, using this leg um, to elevate and turn. So again, with his arms, I don't wanna reach in De La Hiva because he's gonna start putting his hands on the floor. I have to pull the arms back. So I'm here, I lift, arms back, follow with the De La Hiva side, and we have the grips here, okay? So here, Gino starts coming up, right? I'm inside, I'm doing my thing, okay? Have my feet here, and I go to sweep Gino. 
a regular uh, butterfly sweep in this position, right? So I have a double sleep grip here. I go to sweep him, but I'm sound like, man, I'm feeling fancy right now. So instead, I'm gonna do this. As I'm holding Gino with my legs, controlling his arm, I'm gonna take this arm, right? So his left arm, or excuse me, his right arm, my apologies, my left side, right? So I'm taking my left leg out and around. As I do that, though, I'm gonna pull my leg out and then extend with my opposite side leg. So I pull my left out, extend. Gino falls right into this position, right? Pull my heels together, and we finish the arm lock. So I don't want to sweep him and then try to arm lock him, right? When he's in this position, hovering over my head, okay? Let's go right to it. Help Gino stand up. Got my grips one, two. I pick him up. Now it's just not like you know, uh, gotta turn my hips for the arm bar. You don't, right? When I take my leg off, I'm almost like turn him with my right foot because I have control. Relax. Yeah. So I take the foot out here. Take the foot out. So from here, I have his arms. I take my foot out, which in this case would be my left foot. Out. Turn. Don't let go of the arms. Sit back. We have the arm brought down to the sky. One more time. Stand up, Jim. Let's go right to it. Here. Control. Okay. Turn. Heels, pull, finish. Okay? Don't let go of the arms. Just remember this part. I know it's like a lot of things. Don't let go of the arm. The side you want, just bring your leg around. It will all fall into place. Get it? Fall? All right, cool. All right. So let's hit this move. Let's practice it. Be mindful of your space. Let's go three times each on two. One, two. <laughs> 